topics welcome to the second part of the significant figures I hope that you all have watched the first video in which we have explained what are the significant figures and how to calculate how to count how many significant figures are in a particular number now today in this video we will solve the exercise based on the significant figures you can see the chapter 1 number 1 there you have the exercise 6 and 6 star that's based on the significant figures and decimal places so let's start doing the exercise 6 and I hope you will all take out your textbooks and open the exercise 6 significant figures part 2 you can see it in chapter 1 that's number 1 and uh, in exercise 6 we have there the concept significant figures now how to write the significant figures you know in the last video I have explained in a particular number how many significant figures are there. Now here we will try to understand if we have been asked in the question to write the question to write the number corrected to two significant figure corrected to three significant figure how to write what is the rule if we have been asked to round the number to, to next to three significant figures to round up the number corrected to four significant figures how we will do that that we are going to understand here what is the perfect rule you can see here on the board when rounding to sf if we are rounding to sf look at the third sf then we have to see the third significant figure for example if i have the question like this i will give you the example four five six seven here the question is Around this number corrected to two significant figures so what I should do when rounding to SF when rounding to SF look at the third so I should look at this third if this is greater than or equal to 5 if this number is greater than or equal to 5 you can see it is greater than 5 so then round the second figure up then this second figure we should round it up plus 1 we should do it's 4 6 then 0 0 this is the answer and one more example if I have 0 0.1234 and I have to write this corrected to 2SF so what I should do when rounding 2SF look at the third SF so I will see third this is third 1 2 and 3 this is third if this is greater than or equal to 5 it is if it is greater than or equal to 5 then round the second figure up so it's not greater than nor it is equal to 5 so what I should do, I should keep like it is, it is 0 0.12 only. And one more example I will give you if I have 4, 6, 4, 2. I need to write here this number connected to two significant figures. What I should do when rounding to SF, look at the third SF, third SF is 4. If this is greater than or equal to 5, if this is greater than or equal to 5, this is not greater than 5 nor it is equal to 5 and then what I should do no need to round it up no need to round second figure up I mean third figure up or second figure up so it is 4600 0, 0. it is the answer of the question so what you got here the question is here write these numbers corrected to two significant figures so what we need to understand we, ha we have to understand these lines when rounding to SF, look at the third SF. When we are rounding to 2 SF, look at the third SF. If this is, that means if third SF is greater than or equal to 5, then we need to add the second. Okay, what I did here. It is greater than 5 and I need to add here 1. If it was like this, 4, 5, 5, 2. Here, this third is greater equal to 5, also I need to here 2 plus 1. 4600 0 is the answer here so you can see here so if this is greater than or equal to 5 then round the second figure up so rounded it up if it is not greater than or equal to 5 then we do not need to any, do anything no we should keep as it is like this it was uh, here I gave the example where you can see here here 4642 you can see the third figure is third significant figure is not equal to 5 nor it is greater than 5 it is less than 5 so what we should do no need to figure up no need to do it up so what I should do 4600 that simply we don't need to plus here 1 
here in this case we are doing plus one understood this now see here same rule we will follow if rounding to three when we are rounding to three sf then look at the four sf then we should see the four sf that means four the significant figure if we are rounding the four rounding to four sf then we should look at the fifth sf if we are rounding the number to five sf then we should look at the sixth sf it's very simple i will give you more examples if i will write here four six seven eight nine four five i'm asking you how many significant figures are here one two three four five six seven is that correct so seven significant figures are in this number i'm asking you write this number correct to five significant figures this is my question so what i should do as per the rule i will see the sixth significant figure i will check that one two three four five six is this if this is greater or equal to five then i need to plus here one but this is not this is less than five though so what i will do four six seven eight nine then zero zero it is the answer of the course and one more example i will give you if it is like this four two three five six one how many significant figures are one two three four five six six significant figures are there so what i should do here i am actually rounding it rounding that means here after this we have to write only the zeros you can see if the question is write this number correct to 3 sf so what i will do i will see the fourth sf which is fourth sf this is five if this is equal to five or greater than five this is equal to five so what i will do i will plus here one that is four two four then zero 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 this is the answer correct to three sf this is the answer of this question now you can see we have different types of numbers like uh, if one four five six seven without decimal numbers ordinary numbers without decimal there is no decimal place these are very easy if we have the decimal numbers like one two three point four one these numbers we have and you can see we have zero point zero zero one two three one and we have numbers zero point five six one four we have sometimes zero point one two zero zero three like this we have these type of numbers how to write these numbers first always calculate count the number of significant figures in a particular number here you can see one two three four five here one two three four five here one two three four because these zeros are not counted here one two three four here one two three four five so here are four how many five significant figures are here so you can see first always count the significant figures now if the question is saying correct write this decimal number sorry write this number correct to four significant figures four significant figures so i will check the fifth one that's this if this is greater than five then i will add here one yes this is greater than five so its answer is one four five seven zero seven and remaining here i should write the zero if this number is it is asking write this number correct to three sf this number you can see so i will check the four this is fourth one fourth significant figure if this is greater or equal to five then i will add here one so no it's not so what i will do i will write its answer one two three point then it is zero zero so you can see after decimal there are zero zero so it does not make any sense i will write one two three is the answer same is here the question if if the question is uh, like this uh, write this number correct to four significant figures so what i will do i will check the fifth one you can see one two three four five yes this is what this is greater than this is equal to five so i need to plus here one so its answer will be zero point zero zero one two three two then here i i have to write the zero so there is no need because after decimal when when there is a zero on the right side of the number that does not make any sense i can write only this and similarly if this number is here you can it's very easy 
write this number correct to one significant figure. What is the answer of this question? One, so I need to check the second one. It is six. So it is one, I should plus one. It is 0 0.6 only the answer. If here the answer, the question is write this number correct to 3SF. So I will check the fourth, fourth, this one. It is less than five, so my answer is 0 0.5. 120 that I can write 0 0.12 is that clear understand these questions these problems so that you will understand the whole exercise now coming to the exercise you can see the page number 14 page number 14 in your textbook you can see the question number one it's very easy exercise Six question number one. What is it? It is seven eight three. Write character to one significant figure. So here, so I will check the second. It is greater than this one is greater than five. So I will plus here one. So it's eight zero zero correct to one significant figure. It's the answer. Now you can see question number four. It is eight zero two nine zero. Write character to three significant figures so i will check the fourth one it is greater than so what i will do i will add eight zero three i will have to plus one here i will do here plus one so it's eight zero three zero zero it is three sf three significant figures now i will see here you can see here fifth one it is zero point four three nine write this number correct to two significant figures so I will check here the third one. Yes, it is greater than one. So I will do plus one. So it is 0 0.44 character to three significant figures. Now you can see the eighth one. Eighth one. What is that? It is 0 0.145. From your textbook you can see. I need to write it correct to three significant figures. So what I will do? I will check the fourth one. Yes, this is equal to five. So I have to plus one here. So zero point, what I'm doing here, plus one, zero point one zero five up to three SF. This is the answer of the question. Now you can see, first we will understand only the, only these uh, significant figures. Then we will see the decimal places. Now you can see directly exercise six star. Because all are easy, very easy. From the six star, you can see the first one. What is this 10.49? Write this number correct to one significant figure. So I need to check the second one. What is second one? It is zero. So only the one is answer. One zero point zero zero. That is actually ten is answer. Now next you can see the seventh one. No, no, first uh, first uh, third one. Third one. It is four five seven four five point seven zero three. Right, correct to three significant figures. So I will check the fourth one. It is less than five. So the answer is forty five point seven only. It's correct to one SF. It's correct to three SF. Now the next one you can see the sixth one. Zero point zero zero six seven eight. Right, correct to two significant figures. One, two, check the third one. Yes, it is greater than five plus one here. 0 0.0068 is answer. Two significant figures. Now next is eighth one. You can see the eighth one. It is 0 0.13 zeros. Five six seven nine. Right, correct to three significant figures. So I will check the fourth one. One two three is fourth one. Because zero on the left side or in the decimal portion, the zeros on the left side are not counted as the significant figures. It is greater than five plus one. So it is zero point zero 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 five six eight is the answer. Correct to three significant figures. Now decimal places in the same exercise. <laughs> decimal places first I will give you example if it's four four point one you can say after decimal there is one number so there is one decimal place 
in the number there is one decimal place if i will write 41.034 there are how many decimal places three decimal places so what are actually the decimal places the numbers after the decimal they are known as the decimal places how many decimal places are here three here it's one decimal place if i will write 0 0.001 here after decimal three decimal places are here three decimal places if i will write four six seven eight point one how many decimal places are here here there is only one decimal places same thing if you will check here how many significant figures are here there are three significant figures here there are one two three four five significant figures here you can see one two three only one significant figure is here here you can see one two three four five so here five significant figures are there 0 0.10056 how many decimal places one two three four five so five decimal places here how many significant numbers one two three four five so five significant figures are there now you can understand so decimal places are after decimal and uh, uh, counted uh, while as the significant figures or the non zeros there is a particular rule rule and there are uh, rules that i have discussed in the first the part one significant figures part one video you can see there the rule then you will understand it very easily now coming to the question how to write the de decimal places if there is a question for example we have the question here you can see exercise six we have question based on the decimal places question number nine thirty four point seven 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 write this number corrected to two decimal places two decimal places here once again I need to check the third decimal place third is this if this is equal to or greater than 5 then I have to plus 1 so I will write 34.78 two decimal places and next we have tenth one 0 0.654 write this number corrected to two decimal places now see the third decimal place here the same rule is there only the counting number numbers counted as decimal places and numbers counted as significant figures is different but only here and the rule is here the same you can see i have to write this number up to two decimal places so the third decimal place i will check if it is greater than or equal to five then i need to here add one if it is less than five then it is as it 0 0.65 it is the answer up to two decimal places now you can see also the exercise 6 star exercise 6 star there is a question number 9 8.997 write this number correctly to two decimal places two decimal check here you can see here it is greater than one because one two this is third decimal place third decimal place i am checking i have to plus one once i will plus one i will get the 9.00 that's nine answer that is two decimal places now check one more there is a tenth one is there that is 2.0765 write this number correctly to two decimal places here 0 7 these are two decimal places here this is the third one so i will plus here one so it's 2.08 two decimal place it is the answer of the question now the next one is 11th one you can see from the six star exercise six star 6.96 i have to write this number up to one decimal place i have to round off this correct to one decimal place one decimal place is here so i will see the second decimal place it's greater than five so here i need to plus one i will get the answer seven that's one decimal place now next to seven eight point one eight twelfth it's 78.1818 i need to write it correct to one decimal place so here this is one decimal place this is second here it is greater than five so plus one here i will write 78.2 that is one decimal place so this is about the decimal place in decimal place we are counting the decimal places after the decimal whereas in the significant figures what we are counting we are counting from starting whether it is 
before the decimal, whether after the decimal, and there is a perfect rule I have discussed before that in the first video. This was about the decimal. Please.